What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we're gonna be ranking every single marksman rifle and sniper rifle in Arsenal. They are two separate lists, so let's get right into it, starting with the marksman rifles. There are only 10 of these, and I'm gonna start off by saying they all, all these weapons one-shot kill to the head, both um, list. So let's go. Number 10. The worst marksman rifle is the peppermint rifle. So this weapon has a lot of spread and it takes a lot of time for the spread to recover. And I found that at longer ranges, the damage to the body actually drops off by a lot. It can take up to four shots to kill someone, which is a lot for a marksman rifle. And yeah, that's why it ranks lowest. It's because it has low accuracy and damage compared to the other rifles. Next up at number nine, we've got the Dragonov. Now this gun fires quickly just like the peppermint rifle and it only takes two shots to the body to kill at closer ranges. However, it ranks lower because of its higher spread and slow spread recovery making it harder to kill at range. The damage can also drop off to three shots to the body to kill, which isn't as bad as the peppermint rifle but it's not something you generally want. Coming in at number 8, we have the Spencer Carbine. The damage is very reliable and it only takes two shots max to kill if you're aiming for the body. And it also grants you double jumping abilities and the gun reloads all rounds at once, uh, unlike the next weapon, which I'll get into right now. Number seven, we got the Henry Rifle. This weapon is nearly identical to the Spencer and it deals similar damage and grants double jumping as well. And it even has the same amount of ammo in it. However, this weapon's better because it loads rounds individually. This does make it reload a bit slower, but it also means you can cancel the reload just by shooting it. So mid-reload, you could take shots, which I prefer. Now at number 6, the Springfield. This weapon's very good at close to medium range, and it actually one-shot kills to the body and the head at those ranges. But this damage does drop off at longer ranges, making it a two-shot kill maximum. And it also only comes with 5 rounds, so you may run out of ammo sometimes. But using it at closer ranges with good aim will make this weapon very rewarding to use. Number 5, we got the M14. This weapon's good because it's very strong. The downside to it is that it has a higher amount of spread and lower spread recovery, which a lot of marksman rifles seem to have. And it makes it inaccurate at long ranges. However, it comes with a 20 round magazine, allowing it to be sprayed without being punished, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the largest magazine out of all of the marksman rifles in the game. Next up at number 4, we got the M1A1 carbine. Now this weapon has a decent amount of spread but it recovers pretty quickly and it's also very strong and consistent. However the damage of this weapon does drop off at longer ranges, taking up to 3 shots to kill, um, ranking it this high due to its superior accuracy and speed compared to the other rifles. Now starting off the top 3 we got the M1A1 Paratrooper variant. I'll keep this one short since it's similar to last. It's just like the last weapon pretty much, except it has lower accuracy in exchange for higher mobility. I ranked it above its other counterpart because it doesn't feel too inaccurate compared to it, and it also gives you a bit more movement speed, which I prefer. Now, number two, we've got the M1 Garand. This weapon only has eight rounds in it, which is kind of low, However, it actually one-shot kills to the body at close range, making it the only semi-auto marksman rifle to be able to do that. It's also very accurate and does not suffer from spread very much, so it's very good to use at pretty much any range. Now, the number one marksman rifle, my personal favorite out of all of them, is the SKS. Now, this weapon only takes two shots max to kill, and I ranked it the highest because it actually has a decent mag capacity of 10 rounds, but it also fires really fast and has little to no spread and is very consistent all across the board when it comes to damage. And it has overall decent mobility. So that's why I think it's deserving of the number one spot. I think it's just a really balanced and overall really good rifle. Alright, now we're moving on to the sniper ranking list because uh, that was kind of short so I decided to also rank the sniper rifles. There are 12 sniper rifles in total, so let's get right into it. Number 12, we've got the Golden Musket. Now, I don't really care if this thing demotes on kill, that might be annoying for the opponent, but it's arguably one of the worst weapons in the entire game. It takes forever to reload since it's a musket, but not only that, it only deals 99 damage to the body, forcing the user to go for headshots, which are very high risk shots to take with a musket, 
and this easily makes it the worst sniper in the game. Now next up, at number 11, we've got the regular musket. It's still very terrible since it reloads super slow and it's easy to get killed while reloading. The only reason why I rank it above the golden musket is because it's a guaranteed one-shot kill no matter where you hit somebody. Number 10, we've got the M40. Now the sniper deals only 80 damage to the body, making it 2 shots to kill in the body. It has 25 rounds that are individually loaded rather than being mag fed, and it ranks this low because it does not one shot to the body unless the target's weak, and it also has very slow handling and its fire rate is slow for a rifle that doesn't one shot to the body or have as much power. Next up, we've got the MS556 at number 9. This gun deals 65 damage which is very low and it only comes with a 7 round magazine. The good thing about it is that it has faster handling and it has no recoil as well so it's slightly easier to hit shots with. Coming in at number 8, we've got the Sako 85. This weapon deals a pretty pathetic 60 damage for a sniper rifle, but it has way faster handling than the previous two rifles which makes it easier to chain shots together. Like the MS556, it has no recoil, but it does fire a little bit faster, making it better and overall more satisfying to use. Coming in at number 7, we've got the Mosin Nagant. Now this weapon's very slow and doesn't have much ammo in it. However, it ranks higher than the other rifles because it has the potential to one-shot kill to the body at closer ranges, but this damage quickly drops off and makes it a two-shot kill to the body. This along with its slow handling makes it place much lower. Coming in at number 6, we've got the G3 SG1. Now this weapon can take up to 3 shots to kill someone, which is the most out of any sniper. However, it does fire pretty fast and it still one shots to the head. So this weapon basically exchanges body shot damage for superior fire rate compared to any other sniper, making it overall a really good sniper to use. It feels a lot more like a marksman weapon. Coming in at number 5, we've got the Pulse Musket. Now this is the only good musket variant in the game. Uh, it does fire slowly and only have 3 rounds per mag, however it's still a guaranteed one shot kill no matter where you hit someone, and it also has a pretty quick reload time and good handling, so overall it's a versatile and very strong sniper rifle. Now we got the number 4th spot, the Op. Now this thing has a good amount of ammo in it considering the damage it deals. It one shot kills no matter where you hit your target which makes it worth using despite its slower handling speeds. And the only bad thing about it is that it makes you move really slow so just make sure you hit your shots with it and you're pretty much good with it. Now at the top 3 we're starting off with the Barret. Now this gun's similar to the op because it one shot kills no matter what and it also gives you slower movement. However, I think this is better than the AWP because it allows you to launch yourself in the air and give you some form of movement. And it allows you to see everyone on the map, making it easy to pick off targets. So overall, I think this just is better than the AWP because it gives you more. Number two, we've got the double-barreled sniper. Uh, this actually isn't a shotgun, it stands for double-barreled sniper. Uh, you can even see your character loading sniper rounds into it. So this weapon only has 2 shots of course, however it's still a guaranteed kill on hit, and it also gives you movement by launching you in the air. The reason why I put this above the Barret is because it has much better handling and it allows you to move a lot quicker, which is what makes it more favorable in my opinion, I just really like the DBS. Now the number 1 sniper in Arsenal, in my opinion, is the Railgun. Now I know this weapon comes with 6 rounds max, which is not a lot. However, it handles very well, shoots extremely fast, uh, it shoots faster than the Sako, and it's a guaranteed kill no matter what. And not only that, it can hit collaterals, which means you can kill an entire team with just one shot. And ammo can be picked up off the ground, so you don't have to worry about ammo all the time. And I personally love how the railgun handles, and the fact that it can get collaterals is just really satisfying, so it's easily my personal favorite sniper in the game. I just really like the real gun. Alright, that is pretty much it for the ranking of the marksman rifles and sniper rifles in Arsenal. Do you agree with me on this list? Leave a comment down below saying if you agree or disagree. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and check out the other videos in the playlist as well.
Anyways, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next ranking video. Peace out. I remember making this